Hey YouTube, Joshua the Window Cleaner here, and I just wanted to show you just a quick tip on what to do when you're dealing with uh, a used screen that you're trying to repair. And the problem you're gonna have is it's just turning into little bitty pieces as far as your spline goes in the channel. So I wanted to show you a quick tip on what to do in this situation to speed up the job, especially when you got like 30 of them to do at a time. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I'm doing to help you out. All right, so here's the problem. The spline in the channel. When you're trying to take it out, it's coming off in little bitty pieces. You need to get yourself an ice pick. And then what you can do is you just run it up underneath it like so, and then start pulling it at the same time. And then it starts coming out. And so you wanna use two hands, one to start pulling on this screen right here, the other to run your ice pick. And so once you run it, your ice pick like that, start pulling it up, it'll come right out. So I'm gonna show you on this side too as well. Get your ice pick under there and start pulling it out. Now you wanna pull the spline, pull the screen and get up underneath there and then just run it through like this then you don't have to worry about so much of the uh, spline coming off in little bitty pieces. But again, you know, it's gotta be the right size ice pick, but this is what I use and would highly recommend. You can try to use a Phillips head screwdriver as well, but to me, this works a little bit better, fits in that channel a little bit better, and you're able to get up underneath there. So when you have a ton of these, I mean, this is just a lifesaver. So you don't have to keep worrying about pulling the spline out in one little piece at a time. So just a little trick I wanted to show you guys when restreaming the screen. I hope that tip helps. I hope y'all have a blessed day today and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.